You are losing hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars on your website right now if you do not have these eight core website pages on there. Now, what are these eight core website pages? What is the structure? What is the design? What is the copy or the text that you need on there? What are the elements, the core parts of it? How is the structure laid out? So today I'm gonna to share with you, regardless of your industry, your product or service, or your target audience, if you're a SaaS business, if you're a local business, if you're a service business, or consulting, or your e-commerce business. These are the eight core pages that you must have on your website in order to be successful online. At the end of this video, I'll be giving you the eight website structures and walking you through step by step how you can build this into your business, whether you're a startup, what's the foundations you need, or you're an established business, how to optimize it, how to get the highest conversions, and be able to build a more successful business online when you stay until the end of this video. So the first core page that you want to have is your home page. Now you want to make sure this is extremely optimized and there's a certain structure that you want to follow, a certain copy, there's certain elements on the home page to make sure that the people that land on the page, they don't bounce, they don't leave your site immediately upon landing, and make sure that they actually stay on the site for a long time, they go to other pages, they discover more about your product or services, they learn more about what you stand for and why it's important. So on the home page, let's take a look at an example. So if let's say you are designed towards women, you wanna look at the Honest Company. So the Honest Company uses celebrity Jessica Alba to be able to position their website. So the first thing is you can see on their home page, they have the title of Welcome to the Honest Life. And the Jessica Alba right up there, right in front, and it's transitioning between different images. It's focused on creating healthy and safe environments for children during their most formative years. What's interesting to know is that they didn't leave with the products. They focus on what's the message that they want to transfer across, which is extremely powerful. The next core page is your bio and about page. If you're a personal brand, you call it bio. If you're a business, you want to use about or mission as well. So this page is very important because you want to tell people your story. You want to show them how is your business founded? What are the values that your business stands for? You really want to tell the story. You want to translate emotion. You want to share with them what is important about your business. Why should they care? The whole goal of this page is to build that human relationship with them. The emotion, the values, the beliefs and trust between them. Build that human relationship so that they don't see you as just a business, that they see you as someone and that cares. You build a human element into your business. Now the third one that you want to have is your main content page. Now what's important about the content page is this is the page where you can actually show your videos, you can show your content marketing pieces, you can show your podcasts, and you can show your written content. The reason why it's important is because you want to have a central hub where people go on and they learn everything they need to know about the product or service that you're selling, but more than that is the results and the problems that they're experiencing. How do you overcome that? What are the things, because you wanna become the main guide or resource to them. This is why I created Digital Marketing University on bensonsun.com. You can go on there, you can learn everything you need to know about digital marketing, growing your business online, generating traffic, leads, and sales for your business in the long term. Build a successful business. Similarly, you wanna do that for your business as well. The content page is where you include everything, your blog, your videos, and you wanna build it around two things. What are the results that they want to achieve? What are the problems that they're experiencing that they wanna overcome? Everything you wanna to lead to, build it to a process, lay it out step by step, and give it to them. Just give it to them for free. The reason why is because when someone goes on your page, you wanna build that relationship, and the way to do that is you add value to them and become the sole resource for them on the internet. So next, once we have those pages, is we wanna focus on the conversion page. Now the conversion page of your e-commerce, it's your shopping page that people go on, they see a list of your products, or feature section of different products or uh, products that you have and featuring them in a, in a row, showing them what's the benefit of the product and all these different things. Have your services, it'll be a place where people can go on to learn about your services. Maybe send in an application or contact form to be able to reach out to you for more information. Whatever this is, it's conversion page is to get them to take the next step. Have your target audience that go on your website to make a small commitment, to be able to have a conversation with you, to be able to use your product or services or be able to buy the product right on there on the website. So conversion page is being able to convert them to take to the next step. One of the next pages you wanna have is a community page. The community page is real people from your target audience that you put on this page. You wanna use videos, you wanna talk about your stories, you wanna talk about their stories, you wanna talk about with your product or service when they used it, how do they overcome 
their challenges. What results did they get? The reason why you want to use this page, you want to put real people on there. You want to put their images. You want to put as much visuals as possible because when people go on this page, the whole goal is to build that emotional bridge and the relationship together. You want to connect that through the internet. And that's very difficult to do, which is why the community page is so important. It's the whole goal of this is to demonstrate that you have a social element to your business. You are not just a company that has a faceless place. You are a community. You bring people together on your mission or your values and you help people solve problems and you give them results and you move them towards what they want to be, who they want to be, what they represent. That's why the community page is so important for your business. Now the next page is simple. You want to have your contact page ready. You want to make sure that there's people that are able to reach out to you whenever they want, whether that's through your toll free number, a number to contact you or through a form that they can submit via email or through a form that they can submit, let's say through Facebook messenger chatbots. You want to have a way where people can bridge the internet with a real world conversation with your team and your people. Why these four pages are so important is because the ultimate goal of having a customer or potential customer or a target audience visit your website, is you want to have them believe that you are the right person that they're with. You are the right business. You understand them and they understand you and you have the values, beliefs that they resonate with. And this is the go-to place. You want them to visit the site and you want them to stay on the site, go around the site and you build the value, get the value from you, solve a problem or move towards the result. That's the whole purpose of your website online is to get the audience to go on there, stay on there, and move around and constantly coming back to your website so they can visit it over and over again because you wanna have at least five to six to seven touch points around there, five to seven touch points on average for a visitor that's landing on your site over and over again to really build that trust and relationship because if they're browsing the website on the internet, there's no emotion, there's no uh, trust, there's no relationship there. So having them constantly visit and the only reason they're gonna come back is if the, in the first time that they visit, they know that they're in the right place because you're giving them a piece of value without asking for anything in return. That is the most important part, which is why you can see this, I live what I preach. The Digital Marketing University is adding value to you as everything you need to know about growing your business online. So that's why people go on the site over and over again, they bookmark the page, they use their teams to go on and they understand all these different things to learn about digital marketing. The next thing is to make sure that your call to actions on your site are very clear and defined. You don't wanna make your site super lengthy. You wanna make sure that it's simple and easy to use. That's the rule of thumb. And what I recommend is you can actually use user testing. You can get 10 people, just go on your site, tell them different types of tests, like, hey, find the contact page, find out how you can buy, and then ask for their feedback. You wanna make the user experience on your website very, very simple to use. The biggest mistake that I see people make with their websites is that they keep driving new traffic to the site and then they don't focus on returning visitors, unique sessions. On average, you want to have three to five unique sessions when people go on your site. This is the reason why a lot of businesses are losing hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. They focus on the one-time visit, the new high quality traffic, but they don't keep and make them stay on the site. You wanna make sure that the target audience that's going on your site when you're driving traffic, they feel like this is the right place that they are at. They wanna be able to solve their problems through your website. They wanna be able to achieve the results. They wanna have a great user experience on your site. That's why you wanna incorporate. Don't focus on just driving traffic to the site, having a lot of quality visitors going there. You wanna have a returning visitors. That's how you build a successful business. When you had drive 100,000 to a website, and then you have 50,000 that keep coming back month after month, week after week, and day after day. You don't wanna be driving 100,000 traffic to your website, and then you only find that 5% to 10% come back every single month, day, or week. You wanna make sure that they come back, and the reason why you wanna do that is to focus on building a sustainable business. You don't wanna do the one time they go on the site, they find you have a bad experience, and then they leave forever. You wanna get the highest amount of people to keep coming back over and over again. The way to do that, was to focus on the results that they want on your website and also solving their problems and giving them a great user experience through the six to eight core pages that I just shared with you about. Now that you know how to be able to build a high converting website through the six to eight core pages, what is the user experience you wanna offer? What are the results you want them to achieve? And what's the problems that you wanna help them solve to build that reoccurring website traffic? The next thing you wanna do is you wanna implement this and go on to Digital Marketing University on bensonson.com where you can see the expanded posts on where I walk through the step-by-step -step on how to implement this to your business, 
the structure and everything you need to know about building a high converting website. So when you drive the traffic, they keep coming back. So thanks for watching this video. What I want you to do is comment below and let me know what's the one page on your site that you want to focus on increasing the conversions and also driving more traffic. What's one page you want to make sure it gets right? You comment below, I'll give you feedback on it and then I can help you with your business. After that, what I want you to do is hit that like button on the video. I want you to let me know that you're liking this video. You got value from this. We don't make any money from this. I'm just doing this out of way to invest in your business. The third thing is I want to make sure that you can see my face at the end. I want you to subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel, and you get weekly videos on everything you need to know about growing your business online with digital marketing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.